Emily Mangus live in Orlando, Florida right now. Emily, you got to love where the clubs are at right now. Seven unbeaten in a row, and you can't ask for much more when so many great players have been away, coming back soon, but this club has been so deep for so long, it's been on display, none more so than this, this summer here. I'm really proud of this team. I will say it definitely does not feel like the beginning of the season. It definitely feels like the midway point of the season, our bodies at least. <laughs> um, yeah, we're really, we're really pleased with how we've done. This is an important point we just picked up. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier. Really proud of the team. And like you speak a little bit about this this run that the team has had. I know today wasn't a shutout, but it was a very great performance. And you guys have had a number of shutouts over the, the past few games. Uh, some contributing factors of those shutouts. I'd love to hear what you have to say about what the team's performance lately. Yeah, we um, we shutouts definitely are the defense's number one priority. I take responsibility for today's goal. It's a very fixable goal, so that's at least the good news for everybody back at home. Um, but yeah, it's we pride ourselves on the shutout. It's our back five unit. We practice a ton about just every little teeny detail and like what we can do right. And we know if we give a shutout to the team, we're setting everybody else up for success. And so. We're bummed today about breaking that, but um, but yeah, next match for sure. That's definitely something we've been focusing on. What about a player like Bella Bixby, of course, from around here, started Oregon State from Milwaukee, Rex Putnam High. She's allowed two goals now in her seven starts with AD, has been away with Team USA. You've seen her maturity, you've seen her growth in and out of the game. What can you speak to the level she's performed at? It doesn't shock a lot of you that have been around her through training all the time. Right, yeah. we. Um, it's like it's like everybody who maybe might be new faces to you guys, but we've been practicing with for years and years and months and months. Um, but yeah, she's she's been amazing. She is very calm, very confident. She makes good decisions, and so we're we're very pleased with her. We listen to what she says. Got to ask you too. You know, Sophia turned 21 on Tuesday. What's the big team gift at that time? <laughs> A Dunkin' Donuts scrunchie. <laughs> That's all that you got, I think, actually. It's a simple. Oh, we'll get her something good. Simple things in right life. Uh, pretty cool <laughs> exactly. week, though, coming up to the ICC. A lot of great teams coming in here from Europe. Uh, great for the fans to be able to catch them. Uh, what are you looking forward to about that? With that, to just kind of step out of league play for a week and see uh, something entirely new. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, we, we have the opportunity to play in this cool tournament, play some teams that we've never been able to play before. Obviously, we play Houston first, but we get to play some European teams. It's a different challenge. Um, and it's a cool opportunity to maybe try different things and, and try different players out. So, yeah, we're really excited about it. And soon enough, you're going to have to bring back uh, a few big names as well. How excited are you guys to roll them back into the fold? And obviously so proud of what Sync has done and then everybody else as well because it was one heck of a run in Tokyo for all of them. Yeah, we're proud of, we're proud of all of them. But um, Sinky, obviously, can't wait for her to come back, shower her with love. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. We we are very good as a team at these transitions in and out. Obviously, this is not the only time they've ever left our team. They are speed for dates all the time where they're in and out of training. And so we've kind of mastered the seamless transition of them in and out. Um, the level doesn't rise or drop it. We've we've mastered it. So we're excited to have them back as personalities and players on the field but um, and in the locker room, obviously. But yeah, not worried that it's going to mess up the flow at all. Got to keep that positive flow going. Emily Mangus, enjoy that. Uh... Long ride back, but you got a point in your back <laughs> pocket, so that's always good. Safe travels, and we'll see you back down the road here on Wednesday night with Houston Dash. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys.